do it exactly like the reference image here inside Maya. Obviously, we are going to do a lot of muscle things inside ZBrush. So here we are doing this base mesh. So we don't have to do all those things here. So let's start from this torso here. So the first thing I want to bring to your notice is now I have an uneven distribution of polygon. For a base mesh, it's better to have square distribution. When I say distribution means I want to say compared to this vertical edges, you can see I have very few horizontal edges. So it creates long uh, square, a uh, long rectangle kind of polygon. So it means we don't have same amount of horizontal and vertical even spacing polygon. So this is a good thing for base mesh because when you divide it inside zebras, you'll get lot of polygons vertically but you will get less polygon horizontally so that's not a very big issue but still it's a better practice good practice to have your base mesh even distribution so let's start from there so i'm going to add some edges here so before i add i want to rotate this edge loop here at the chest area you can see all the muscle and the bone going this direction so I'm going to rotate this like this. Again, this is not a very necessary thing to do. It's a good practice to do it. So we'll get this as flow easily. And now I'm going to add some polygons there inside, I mean between them. So I'm going to insert as loop tool here. Inside that option, I'm going to turn off this option, insert with as flow. So once it turned on when you add a, an edge loop inside it's going to automatically adjust the shape to to make it smooth you can see a little bit shift if i add one here you can see this thing it's automatically makes the shape smooth so it's a good option so yeah now you can see i have square face so it means i have same almost it's not exact 100% but still now I have a good distribution so I'm going to add one here okay so do this then I'm going to reset it here let's turn off this then the second thing I'm going to do this chest area so I'm going to do this chest shape a little bit so let's select this edge and let's put this here with matching this line here and let's select this vertex see now I'm concerned about this side I'm not doing anything here this side because I'm going to delete this half and I'm going to mirror it this side to this other side so okay so now I'm going to add one edge here so again let's go to mesh tools insert edge loop tool option insert with edge flow click here okay go to side view then i'm going to like adjust this chest here a little bit better with this reference image so obviously we are not doing this character our character is a different guy so obviously we are going to change a lot inside zebras maybe according to his body but still it's a good anatomy thing so we can just follow it here as a base then let's do this area now the neck looks too wide there so let's select this and scale a little bit like this and if you check from this front view we are we don't have any tra a trapezius muscles here in in this area so let's let's pull this area Again, I don't have to do or match everywhere all perfectly because we can first of all we are not doing this character and second we can do all those things inside zebras easily. I'm just trying to take a you no know, average looking base mesh here. And now I'm going to delete this side. So select delete this side 
make sure your edge this center edge is perfectly lined up with this center black line and that's important let's say you you have a vertex like this and you have not noticed that and now you are trying to mirror it so let's mirror it mess go to mirror here and when you mirror the first thing you can notice these areas have been merged very oddly okay so that's because of this merge threshold value here so this uh, now it has 0.6 something so put 0 0.001 so this is the lowest value so with this value your center edge which was like perfectly aligned with this line should be merged if you put this this value 0 0.001 is the lowest value so with this value it's gonna merge only the snapped vertices to that line or to the center so you can see this vertices uh, have not been merged because it was not aligned properly so that's why always it's a good good practice before you mirror it's a good practice to select this center edge or this vertex but very carefully you shouldn't select anything like inside or this row vertex so select carefully this center vertex or edge then you can do one thing you can go to this uh, sorry move tool and go double click go to move tool settings here you can find an option called written component spacing inside this move snap settings option written component spacing and now if i just move and let's say i turn on this snap to grid so that i can snap this selection to grid this grid so let's move now you can see it's moving whole thing as an average so still those are not aligned individually to this line so when i turn off this and with this snapping option i'm moving all these vertices with this option turn off you can see it it snaps every vertices individually okay so now every vertex is snapped to that line with that axis so let's turn off so this is a very good option for this purpose by default it it should be turned on so you need to go come here and turn off this one so once it's done that means now you are sure everything is lined off and you you can just go to mesh mirror and you, you can just put blindly this value and you know it's gonna merge the right vertices there so that's it